Welcome to the .cms site search tutorial. In .cms 2.1, we have a new site search. The site search can be found under CMS Admin Site Search Portlet. If you click there, you go to a page where you can see all of the site search indexes that have been created. Let's go over an example of how this works. If I'm on this page and I click on Create Site Search Index, I can select an alias name for my index. Put here Site Search. And I can select the number of shards as well. The Site Search works the same way that our um, search works in the CMS Mainness. This search is using Elasticsearch so it works with indexes that have shards and replicas the same way that we have on a regular index. I created my site search index here and if I right click on it I'm able to update the number of replicas to um, restore my index, download it, make it default, close it or delete it. So these are the same actions that we have on the indexes that we use on our CMS maintenance page. I'm going to make default here. So this will become my, my green index means that this is the default and I have a count of zero which means that I, I don't have any objects on my index at this moment. I'm going to now click on job scheduler. What this is going to do is either allow me to run a job now or schedule one that's going to add content to my index. I'm going to first run one scheduled. If I'm here I need to create a name for my job so I can say here nightly site search job. I can then select the host where I want to do the search. I can either select the host or I can index all hosts. In this case I'm going to index the demo and then I can select the alias name. In here I can either create one and make it a default or I can select one that it's already created. In this case I'm going to use the site search one that we created before. Uh, we can also then select incremental. If we check this then only new changes will be added to the index. If we don't check this every time we run the job the index will be recreated from scratch. The next option you have is the languages. If you have more than one language in that CMS then you will have to select whether you want to have all of the languages on your index or just a few of them. In this case we have let's put the English here and we can either we can even put here English. Let's just put here Yen. Then the next thing that we need to say whether we want to include or exclude certain paths on the search or if we want to include everything. By default it includes everything but let's say that we want to include just a few paths so we can do something like resources and include them like that and maybe we can do something like services as well and these are two paths that we have in that CMS two different folders. We also can then, um, we have to then add a cron expression. What this is, is just a way of telling that CMS how many times it's, this job is going to run. In this case, we have some examples here to make it easier. So we can have once an hour, twice a day, uh, different times, or we can do it every day at 1 a.m. So we're doing it nightly. We could do then something like that and then I'll schedule the job. Once we have it scheduled you can see the job is here, where it's going to run, when it's going to run, and what's going to include or exclude. What this is doing now it's that it won't run until it's 1 a.m. in the morning. So for our test let's just do one that runs right now. So instead of doing scheduled we can select now if we want it to test. I'm also going to add my host my site search, English, and I'm going to include, let's say that we include resources, and we can do that execute. 
Now you can see here it says running once and that's the new one, the, the one that I'm running now that's created. If I click on refresh, you can see here there's a progress bar and it's done, so it went away. Now I go back here to indexes and you can see now that I have 33 objects on my index and those are the ones that got indexed. If now I go to search, I can see the, in the list of the possible indices that I have, I have the one that I'm look that I'm that I just created the site search, and I can test. I can put the word let's say instance here dot cms, and this is going to search for the word dot cms on all of the documents that it indexed. What it's doing when I give it a path, I gave it the path resources. What it's doing is that it's trying to match all of the pages, all of the files, the new files, the files as content, and all of the content that has a URL map with the path resources in it. So it does not do a regular crawl, so it's not going to start at resources, index, and then start crawling through the links. That's not how it works. It's more going to search the content pages and files that match this path. So it's really you can really control what's going to go on your index. So in this here, you can see that uh, it returns a score. So that's based on the matches that it has on the word that I select or the keyword, uh, the title for the document, an author if we have one, uh, the size of the document. It also then returns the URL and the URI and the MIME type. Once you have all of this information, you can then create a search in the front end that allows you to search by different MIME types, different uh, like URLs or keywords. And in this case, you can see how we show the query that we're doing. And we have here that we're sending the word .cms in the query. We can also do things like um, do the content type and send that in your query like you would do that in Lucene. We'll have an, a separate video on how to create the search on the front end using the widget and velocity. Uh, and this concludes how this works for the site search in the back end. Thanks for watching.